Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, Soyeon is back with a solo mini album. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time I react to her as a solo artist on my channel. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my sto story, a big word there, but like um, how I got to know her and everything. I know that the first time she was, you know, presented to the public was in Produce? Right? Like the first season of Produce, if I'm not mistaken. I personally didn't watch uh, that show. I think at that time I wasn't really into girl groups in general and so I was not particularly interested in shows, survival programs or whatever that featured girl groups or like or girls in general. I was younger and a lot more close-minded than I am today. Me discovering the world of like girl groups and girl solo and everything, solo artists and everything was probably one of the best things that ha ever happened to me because I feel so blessed to have access to such an amazing like variety of... I'm trying to make sense. Well, bottom line is I'm just glad that I am now into girl groups. Personally, the first time I really, you know, watched her and everything was on Pretty Rap Star. And I think back then when I saw her in the show, I was kind of like, I almost had the same mindset, I think, as when I was seeing Ryu Jin on Mix 9. I guess the best way to describe how I was feeling back then was, I don't get the hype. Like, what's it? what is it all about? I have made quite a big journey <laughs> and a big change my, of mindset um, throughout all these years, thankfully. Anyway, so let's talk about this comeback. Now, I listened to the album at Lee and I just cannot wait for it. Plus, the, what is it, the um, album design concept is brilliant. So, I live in Switzerland, so we don't have the Wendy type of thing. So, I suppose the whole Wendy thing is like a, you know, that girl with the, with the red hair, right? Wendy's, that's the thing, right? With the Frosties and people dip their fries in the Frosties, whatever that is. Anyways, I'm not very familiar with Wendy's, but I got the reference when I saw her teaser pictures. Also, I cannot wait to hear her song featuring BB and um, what's her name again? Oh my god, Yeongji. From what I know, BB and Yeongji are like killing the game also at the moment. So it's almost like three incredible female artists coming together to probably make a badass song. And I, I just cannot wait to hear that. Is this bad bitch number? Seriously, just the just just the title of this. Anyways, without further ado, wait. Oh, there are no English captions on Ida's channel. Well, we have to do with that. Anyways, uh, beam beam. Let's go. It's not even three minutes long though. Oh, the nails. Iced coffee. That's so cool. She's employee of the month every month, seriously. The freckles. Okay, but watch those people be like trainees or something. Wait, she's really 24? Oh my! I didn't know I needed rocker soyon, but yeah. Oh my god! That's your D! No, Yungji could dance like that. Damn. Oh. What's going on in the K-pop industry for them to be 
making such like Who worked on this music video? I'm see You guys are gonna hate me for this, but my camera stopped recording before the end of the music video. There was an error. You know those days when you're like tired and you want to have a good day, but somehow it looks like everything that comes your way or a, a lot of things happen during that date that just makes you f go fuck <laughs> so yeah there's no reaction for like the last uh, 15 seconds of the music video hopefully it wasn't before that but still i'm gonna try to move on from this failure in this um test <laughs> let's call this, this a test like today's testing me but let's put this aside and uh, focus on her i didn't know i needed rocker soyon so badly but she did and she served uh, wasn't her debut also about food or something yeah her first song was about jelly and now it's about burgers i think there's a theme right there <laughs> okay about the music video did the people who worked on uh nct's hello future or like exo coco pop are those pe did those people work on this music video as well because like i am seeing kind of like a pattern of giving life to unanimated things and making it look weird it almost like you're hallucinating for all this thing this music video and the music video from alexa that she just released you know are giving me the same vibe almost in terms of like what is it vintage feel if that makes sense it's still a little bit old school especially in the outfits and everything i guess at this very moment i'm definitely more into the first part of this of the music video and then when the burger came to life i was like it started becoming weird <laughs> and so yeah i definitely liked the first um part of the video better in terms of like just editing and everything, just the colors, etc. I loved the cameo of Yongjin here. I didn't know she could dance like that, but she killed those moves seriously. And I like, liked the battle setting that they had there. Also, I didn't know they were like so close. That That's really cool. I would love to see more like, you know, Easter eggs in videos or like just like cameos and everything. It just adds that layer of like surprise and like, oh my God, I didn't know they were friends or whatever. And then again, I, I'm sure they have like packed uh, schedule. So maybe that's why it's not happening often. Crazy because like she is rapping but she's writing the melody in a way that almost sounds like she's singing. The track is definitely catchy. I feel though that I will have to listen to it for it to be really anchored in my head. It's interesting because like uh, to me there's definitely something summary about it but it's not like the typical sound that I would associate with summer concept you know so it is refreshing. Anyways, I'm constantly gazing over there to see if the video is still like recording or not. So I think I'm gonna wrap this up here, but just saying like, this is a really good comeback. I maybe wished it was slightly longer. And personally, I wished the music video followed the same aesthetic as the very beginning, you know? I think the whole unrealistic thing with the hallucinating and everything is fun. But it's not my thing. I definitely enjoyed watching the first part of the music video more than the second one. But then again, just personal preference, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna stop you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry again for the end, uh, you know, for having not being able to bring you the end of the reaction, but yeah, sorry about that. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.